Yes, I na kwaje na kwaje mtazamaji na karibu. This is Mr. Kenya na kama kawaida remember to subscribe, like and turn on notification bells. Uh, this is your home of episodes. Tumekuletea episode 8 ikiwa mzima mzima. Kwa hivyo the best thing here is to subscribe, to like and also turn on notification bell. Ku like ni kutia thumbs up yani ndio maangalia juu. Na kufanya nini? Ku turn on notification bells kwa kisha receive all the updates. So right about now guys, this is episode 8 and what's happening in this episode? Uh, first of all, the main thing in this episode ni kwamba Becky asha change mind. Eh? Asha change mind anaamua kwamba uh, acha tu akae pale kwenye mansion. So ameenda kule upande wa ghetto, amebeba vitu vyake vyote, amerejea pale kwenye mansion. So uh, ameamua anaenda kuishi na Junior. So uh, let's begin the episode the way it's supposed to be. So uh, this episode inaanza pale ambapo Becky alikuwa anatoka kule kwenye mansion, anaenda upande wa ghetto akizidi kufikiria the idea of Junior kutaka yuko wapi pale kwenye mansion. Kumbuka uh, alikuwa haoni kama ina make hata alimwambia Junior kwamba sio nikikaa hapa mali hapa uh, ile hali uko hapa na mkeo it, uh, you are married of course uh, it can't work but Junior alijaribu kumbembeleza akampea ofa but Becky akamwambia sio ni kwa hiyo ofa yako iki work at this time so uh, wakazidi kuleta na letana about that issue but Becky aka decide kwamba anaenda upande wa ghetto kufikiria akiwa on the way akiwa akifika pale kwenye room ndio akaona kwamba uh, by the way aina haja mlenge junior this time because junior is fighting stress anapigana na stress uh, kumbuka baada ya mamake kufa uh, junior bado ako na zile stress so he may end up eh ame anaweza fika mahali akaanza kujihusisha na mambo na drugs and all that remember stress uchangia vitu vingi sana so ako na kwamba uh, instead junior afike to this point acha fanye nini i decide apange tu mara moja aenda kaenea so but First of all aka decide kwamba anaenda kumwambia Tito about this idea of Junior kutaka yuka kwenye mansion. So mtazamaji amini usiamini alipofika pale ambapo uh, remember Tito uh, alikuwa pale na bishita yake yule Alexis na nani na Sanchez wa kijibamba walikuwa pale wanapiga ugali mbaya sana. So uh, Becky anapofika pale anaona pale wakiwa watatu. Ana catch mara moja but Tito alikuwa ni spot on another side. Ndipoza Tito anamfuata mbingu na moza Becky. What is it? Eh? Ni nini? But Becky this time amejama anamwambia eh? Yaani mimi nashinda nime na kutafuta wewe every time utaki kuniona kumbe ni juu uko na Lexi. So uh, ndipo sababu Becky anarealize kwamba uh, Tito all this long amekuwa na fight ya nani? Lexi. Kumbe hata si ye. So uh, hii inampea a good opportunity ya ye kufanya ku move on ye, na Junior. So baada ya hapo wanaletana Tito anajaribu kujitetea but Becky anakataa manze. Eh? Anamwambia Z there's nothing after all uh, there's nothing we are sharing. Wewe fanya hivi we ishi yako mi ni ishi yangu na niibo anarejea pale kwenye keja anabeba virago vyake vyote anasema mimi siwezi fightia mtu anitaki na ndipo sana nilikea wapi kule kwenye mansion akiwa anatoka upande wa nje ndipo sana anakutana na nani san na ni eh, Chantel mtiaji manze Chantel anakuja na msomesha uh, beki na mzuri unafanya nini hapa we na kawaida yako we ni mtiaji ndipo sana Chantel anamwambia zi manze alimkuja kukuambia kwamba uh, Tisha alikuwa mali huko ndipo sana beki na mzuri but how is that my concern Chantel anamwambia hey, AZ skiza alikuja uh, kuniambia ni kuambia kwamba hawakutaki uh, kut, uh, kwenye mansion so Becky anamwambia manzee wewe hebu shughulika na maisha yako na anabeba vitu vyake na kuelekea kwenye mansion anapofika pale uh, Junior Manzendi anafurahi mba anafurahi Junior Manzo alikuwa ameshaanza kukua zile za Sabeki amekataa offer but anapomuona na mzigo wote anaona oh kumbe uh, alikuwa na play hard to get or something to do with that sana ndiposa anafurahi mbaya na mkaribisha na muingiza kule So akiwa pale eh, upande wa sitting room in the mansion ndipo sasa Trisha pia anamspot anamwambia oh Becky na anamspot na mzigo anamwambia oh welcome anajifanya anamwambia welcome but deep inside that girl is suffering eh? mambo haya muendei kumbuka uh, Trisha naye amejaribu kufanya juna chini kutengeneza urafiki na Mo I think she she has a plan uh, juu ameshatengeneza urafiki na Mo anataka kwamba wakuwe marafiki anajaribu kuambia Mo kwamba uh, ame wamsamehe for kwa kuwa alikuwa mkali first of all kumbuka huko mwanzo mwanzo uh, Trisha alikuwa anakalia mo sana in fact alipokuja kujua kwamba eh, Becky ni mama ni mama yake nani Jeff eh, Becky ana mtoto ambaye ni Jeff na mtoto wa Junior kwa hivyo uh, mo ni shemeji yao alikuja kuwa mkali na hakuwapenda wote but right now amekuja kuambia kuambia mo amsamehe so uh, she's planning something again Trisha is planning something with Chantel will come to know eh So uh, things in the mansion inaenda kuwa tough very tough so this is episode 8 uh, I will bring you more updates on this so uh, remember to subscribe like and turn on notification bell
Yes, aina kwa jina kwa jina karibu tena this is Mr Kenya na kama kawaida tuko hapa kwa kushukumu unapata analysis and previews uh, of your best episode so right about now to talk angalia analysis and of episode 88. Hmm? Uh, kama uko na episode 87, ziko hapo ziko kwenye ziko hapo kwenye channel zikiwa mzima mzima so you can also check on them before coming to uh, to check on this. So on this episode Uh, Biki ya decide sasa kama ni mbaya ni mbaya ameshaamua kubeba vitu zake kule upande wa ghetto alikokuwa anaishi so amelekea moja kwa moja kwenye kwenye mansion and the reason as imefika wapi ya kaamua kwamba uh, abebe vitu vyake aelekea kule because ameona kwamba uh, junior right now ana fight stress hmm? kumbuka baada ya mamaki kuaga junior amekuwa zile za ku fight stress so ameona si better kum disappoint jumanzo alikuwa amekataa kwamba hauni ikimeki yeye kukaa pale kwenye mansion at the same time trisha akiwa na sasa since I'm, I'm realize kwamba uh, junior na Trisha hawana ile relationship fit uh, anaona kwamba the best way ya kumsaidia junior ku, ku reduce stress ni kufanya nini kukaa na yeye so ameamua kupaki vitu zake right now ako pale kwenye mansion so uh, ameamua ku change mind first of all alikuwa amekataa but mefika to a point ame decide kwamba kama ni mbaya ni mbaya so in that mansion who is going to to begin a serious war because uh, ata Trisha ameshtuka sana kumuona amebeba vitu vyake vyote amekuja sasa na anashangaa naona ni Junior anamuelekeza kwenye room anamwambia now welcome so Trisha pia anajifanya anamwambia Becky welcome but deep inside anaumia so first of all uh, Becky alikuwa ameamua kwamba anaenda kuambia Tito uh, all about this hii uh, idea kwenda kuishi kwa mansion but kufika kule kuona Tito anapata kumbe Tito ana haja na yeye sana Tito anazidi kufaitia nani Lexi so alipofika pale upande wa Tito alipokuwa anapata Tito akiwa busy na Lexi so akaona kwamba uh, aina haja aina haja endelee kupigania nani Tito manake uh, Tito ni kama kuna haja na Lexi so akaamua yeye kuliko endelee kungana na mtu anaje na yeye abebe tu vitu vyake mara moja atoke kule upande wa ghetto so kule upande wa ghetto hayuko tena na alipokuwa akibeba vitu vyake akitoka kule upande wa ghetto alikutana na Shantel yule mtiaji Shantel anamwambia kwamba uh, E, nimekuja kukuambia kwamba Trisha alikuwa huku alikuwa mali huku ndipo sasa Becky anamuuliza and how is that uh, my concern but uh, Shantel anamwambia Trisha ameniambia ni kuambia kwamba hakutaki kwenye mansion eh kwa hivyo uh, Shantel bado wako na ile kitu inaitwa utiaji yani uh, alikuwa ametumwa kumaanisha kuna mipango baina ya Shantel na Trisha eh, ambapo wataki Becky akae kwenye mansion but Becky nae ni don't care right now ameamua kama ni mbali mbali so uh, yuko pale kwenye mansion amebeba vitu vyake and that's how life is going to be. So in that episode ni wazi kwamba she has now decided to change mind. Amemwambia kwamba kama ni mbaya ameenda pale kwenye mansion and that is it. So uh, that is episode 88. Remember to subscribe, like and turn on notification.